Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on ABT on Linux desktop. This tutorial will show you how to install and use ABT on a Linux desktop. To record this tutorial, I am using ABT version 1.0 and Ubuntu Linux version 12.04. For the installation, you will need a working internet connection and at least 2 GB of RAM. Open web browser and go to this URL. Click on the download link, Downloads ABT for Linux. ABT for Linux star file will get downloaded in your downloads folder. I have already downloaded ABT for Linux star file on my Linux machine. I will now extract the contents of this star file. Let me open this folder, ABT for Linux. You can see the following files, ABT Core, Genymotion, VirtualBox, ADB executable file, install.sh, install ABT dependencies.sh file and readme file. As learnt earlier, we know that ABT Core installs the backend of ABT. Genymotion folder has Genymotion for 32-bit and 64-bit architecture. Genymotion is not a part of ABT. It is just a virtual device to show up ABT. User can use any virtual device. It is a complete set of tools that provides a virtual environment for Android. VirtualBox is just a virtual machine which won't directly affect your machine. VirtualBox is necessary for the functionality of Genymotion. Inside the VirtualBox folder, we will find several virtual boxes. They are in software package format .deb for different versions of Ubuntu and different architectures of the desktop. The shell script file install abt dependencies.sh will install dependencies of abt, virtualbox and genymotion on the desktop. install.sh file will first check whether the virtual device is launched or not. The shell script file will then install abt core and abt apk. The README file is the customized documentation for Genymotion installation. Let's begin the installation now. So open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T simultaneously. To access the folder files, type CD Downloads ABT for Linux and press Enter. In order to give executable permission to the shell scripts, type sudo chmod plus x install abt dependencies.sh install.sh and press enter. Give root password if prompted and press enter. To run the file, type dot slash Install abt dependencies.sh and press enter. The following message appears on the screen. Install to folder user bin genymotion. Are you sure? Type Y and press enter. Genymotion has been launched. The message appears on the screen. You have no virtual device available yet. Do you want to add a new one? Click on Yes. In the new window that appears, click on Connect. You can enter username and password to connect to Genymotion Cloud. The default username and password provided are Akash ABT and the password is Akash Test 1. Click on Connect. 
After this, a new window appears to create a new virtual device. Select any one of the available virtual devices. I will select this option from the available virtual devices. Click on Next. Change device name to ABT. Again click on Next. It will start deploying Genymotion virtual device. This may take some time. Click the Finish button to close the deployment window. Now click the Play button to start your newly created virtual device. We can view the loaded virtual device here. Note, don't close the launched virtual device and terminal. Now, let's proceed to install ABT on Genymotion. Open a new terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T keys simultaneously. Open .bashrc file by typing sudo gedit dot bashrc and press enter. Give root password if prompted. Now edit the dot bashrc file by adding the following line at the end of the file. Export path equal to slash opt colon dollar path. Save and close the file. Now, in the same terminal, type the command source space dot bashrc and press enter. Open a new tab on the terminal without closing the previous tab. For that, press Ctrl Shift T key simultaneously. To execute the other script file, first type cd downloads abt for linux and press enter. Now type dot slash install dot sh and press enter. Give root password if prompted. This will install abt core and apk backend and frontend of abt. We have successfully installed abt on a linux machine through a virtual device genymotion. There might be chances that Genymotion doesn't work with the given virtual boxes. In such cases, manually install virtual box on your computer using Synaptic Package Manager. In future, if you want to start ABT, just go to the path and run dot slash install dot sh command in the terminal. Now, we will learn some important features of ABT on desktop. The features are import report as PDF or CSV format, import and export organization. Note, your files will be saved on your system. Open ABT application. When prompted for super user access, select remember choice forever and click on allow. I have already created a sample organization called TK Group. I will open a ledger report now and I will view the ledger report for SBI account. In the report, on the top right corner, I will click on Options button. It will give me two options export as PDF and export as CSV. I will choose export as PDF option. I don't want to set password for file security so I will select no and click on save file. A folder called abt underscore PDF will get created automatically in the home directory. All the PDF files generated will be saved in this abt underscore PDF folder. Likewise, the CSV files generated will be saved in abt underscore CSV folder. Now, we will learn how to import and export an organization. 
first let's learn how to export an organization click on export organization option and then click on yes this will create a folder called export in the home directory all the exported organizations will be saved in this folder these organizations can be imported on any other Linux machine on which ABT is installed. We just need to transfer the export folder to the home directory of the other Linux machine. Before transferring the folder, however, we need to give permissions to the folder. Open a new terminal and type sudo chmod 777 export and press enter. Give root password if prompted. We can now copy the export folder to the other machine. Note the export folder when transferred will override the existing export folder. It is advisable to take a backup before transferring. Next we will learn how to import an organization. For that, we will go to the welcome screen of ABT. We can see the import organization option on the sliding drawer on the left. Click on import organization. You can import only those organizations which are present in the export folder. Click on import and then click on exit. We successfully imported the organization. If you want to use some other virtual device, you must remember two things. To install APK, go to downloads slash abt for Linux slash abt core slash install on your terminal and then type adb minus e install abt.apk To start abt core go to downloads slash abt for linux slash abt core on your terminal and then type sudo dot slash abt start Let's summarize In this tutorial we learned how to install and use abt on a linux desktop Watch the video available at the given link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. This is Ruptikini from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.